So Jojo Diaz has uh, dropped the decision to Ricky Perez, also known as Jesus Perez, um, from Mexico. He did an excellent job in the fight. I'm actually a big fan of uh, Perez's style. It's kind of a style I, I kind of uh, like to uh, be entertained by. And he's just someone that I have uh, was fond to, especially over uh, looking at film and different things. I knew he had an excellent chance of winning this fight. And I'm not surprised that uh, Jojo Diaz ended up losing this fight because uh, Perez is just one of those sneaky guys who's lost to uh, some high competition. But he's come in close, and um, he's had a hard time in this fight um, and other fights. But he pulled it out at the end. I felt like Perez did a lot better job than what I actually... I felt like I gave him more credit than he actually did throughout the fight, honestly. Because I felt like Jojo Diaz did a lot more in the middle rounds um, and later on. But I felt like Perez... Workload stayed the same throughout the whole fight. He was aggressive throughout the whole fight. Um, he was countering Jojo Diaz. He was making Jojo Diaz um, basically fight a different style of fight than what Jojo Diaz wanted to fight. Because it was three different, two different styles that Jojo Diaz wanted to fight. He wanted to stay on the outside. Then he wanted to kind of uh, overpower uh, Perez. He couldn't do that. So then he started to be elusive in box, which was uh, successful for him, but he waited too long throughout the fight. And he kind of used his stamina and other things in the wrong direction. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, I still had to watch this fight over with because it was such a close fight. I felt like uh, Jojo Diaz... A lot of punches that uh, he was taking was blo uh, being placed on his glove. It wasn't really directly uh, punches that he was take taking directly. His face was being red, but some of that was from just uh, just from him moving around and just getting the blood flowing. But he was taking a lot of punches to the face. But so was Perez also. Uh, Perez had some struggles throughout the fight. Taking some uh, decent amount of punches when Jojo Diaz was kind of ducking his punches and moving around. He was giving Perez a hard time, but I feel like uh, Jojo wasn't in shape, man. And a lot of things I tell people about recently is a lot of these guys need to be in shape when they're uh, facing certain guys at a certain level. A guy like Perez is going to come in in shape. He's going to be aggressive, and he's not going to lay down. And for some reason, certain fighters feel like because their name holds certain weight, not just saying Jojo Diaz, I'm just saying overall, you can't just come in with a name and a face and thinking that's going to get you through the door. You got to be better than what you was the last time you was out. And for us to kind of see guys cutting corners and not coming into shape, well, let's be honest, man, like Jojo Diaz is not supposed to, um, He's supposed to have at least have a borderline uh, six pack, or on his way to that direction. But I feel like his midsection was just not um, on par for someone who uh, would be in tip top shape. And then you're going against a guy who's in the best shape of his life, literally. The guy was just 200 pounds not too long ago. Now he's 138. He's in the best shape of his life, and you're going in there. Which JoJo was boxing very well throughout the fight. He did an excellent job boxing. I'm just talking about the things that he can control. He's saying about the judges. But the things he can control is what he brings to the table. As far as his stamina, uh, his discipline, his intelligence, his IQ, uh, veteran tactics. This wasn't an uh, older guy. This was a young guy. This is a guy who's 26. You're supposed to use your veteran uh, experience to kind of get you uh, past a certain point. That's why people have to realize, man, Bernard Hawkins, when he was boxing, being able to what he, being able to do what he did at 40-something, 50 years old, 
And these other guys, they're struggling in, th in their 30s. That just lets you know, man. It's a different level sometimes. But Jojo Diaz did an excellent job throughout the fight. I feel like he he um he came back and did a way better job in the middle rounds than the end round. I mean, the last round. Last couple of rounds, championship rounds and the middle rounds. He did an excellent job, but he left a lot on the table. So I can't really be uh, mad at the judges for, for wanting to be uh, iffy about certain things that went on in the fight. And he kind of made a lot of a lot of the uh, points that Perez get, got. Jojo Diaz made things look way worse than what they were. So Perez got those points just off the strength of uh, his aggression and looking good in the fight. But like I've said, man, uh, JoJo has to uh, do better as far as in the fight uh, when it comes to certain things, man. You have to be able to come in in shape, bro. You, that's the only thing you can control. You can't control the judges, anything else, but you have to come in in shape. That third round JoJo Diaz did, that was an excellent round by him. But he did not go back to it, and I don't think his body would, would, would let him because he's not in tip-top shape. Not in my eyes. But I, have to, I would have to look back over this fight, though. I feel like Perez did enough, but if I feel like uh, Jojo Diaz actually won the fight and I go back and score it again, I would uh, change my mind. But a lot of people did think he uh, won the fight. And uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Right now, I felt like Perez was winning the fight. At the end, I felt like JoJo had a chance as far as a draw, maybe a split decision, but I don't know. But uh, that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.